what is martial arts? What's the difference between martial arts and like a fighting system? Martial arts means military arts. Martial is military. Look it up on Google. And um, so there's a process. You come in as a white belt. Doesn't matter how many street fights you've been in. Doesn't matter um, how aggressive you are. What matters is, is can you, or do you respect your family? Do you respect your teachers? Do you respect your coaches? Do you respect people around you? And regardless of what that answer is, you must respect people because, uh, because we're connected to those people. And who does a fight really hurt? A fight really hurts the person inside of me. It doesn't really, it's sure, there's two losers in a fight, in a street fight. The only reason why you should ever fight is if your life is being endangered. Like if someone comes up to you and says, oh, you stupid, lousy, um, yada, yada, yada. That's not a reason to get in a fight with someone, okay? Um, if someone gives you, a, pays you a bad compliment, you could say thank you, you know, or something you could say, that's, that's, that's what they call me uh, down, down the street, whatever. But you can, you can kind of make fun of it because obviously that person doesn't really know you and who cares what they think. That's not really where I was going with it, but, but martial arts is um, a disciplined environment. So like when someone wants to go in the Marines or Army or, or any, mar any military, there's a boot camp. There's a boot camp that's like an introductory course. It's like kind of like a fast 12 week course where people are screaming at you and telling you to do push ups and pull ups. And I'm the smart, the Grandmaster Chung's way of, of teaching, it, it was similar to that, quite frankly. But we were voluntarily going and doing three to six hours a week of, of classes. And that translates into answering yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am having a certain mindset where, where when a challenge comes across your desk or across you, your life, you basically are more methodical, you break it down into pieces and you um, don't fly off the handle very quick, easily. You, you kind of break things down and think, how is this gonna uh, benefit the per others? Not just, not just me, but how is it gonna benefit everybody involved? And that's really what martial arts is all about. It's about it's about everybody winning, not just one person. It's about a mindset. Um, we have a philosophy, strength through control of mind, body, and spirit, peace through confidence, beauty through perfection. And then we have Jung Shin, Il Do, Asa, Bo Sang. Once I put my mind to it, nothing is impossible. And really that's what we're doing at this traditional uh, martial arts studio uh, is that in, in Simi Valley and Malibu and Claremont, and there are other traditional martial arts studios as well that Grandmaster Chung oversees in Pomona and Ontario, and, and they're wonderful as well. We are all teaching, we're all in this together. And what I really like to do is get other studios to be a little bit more disciplined and not focus so much on me conquering you, but it's really me conquering me. It's me conquering my view of you. So if I have a if I look at you and I think, um, if I think anything other than, than um, respect, then that's the wrong attitude. I have to change my attitude. The only way you change your attitude is with extreme change. And, um, and so, so go find a traditional martial arts studio where they teach to be courteous. Uh, courteous in Korean is ye yi. There's a justice, you have to abide by a law justice, then perseverance, you have to persevere through any situation in A, and then self-control, you have to have self-control in every situation, don't overindulge, don't overdo it, um, everything in moderation, and then fighting spirit, fighting spirit doesn't necessarily mean me overcoming you, it means me overcoming me, me overcoming my negative self, so go out there and make it a great day, thanks for listening, and um, God bless you.